But other than that, the Rapids playing very well. Now, from uh, from Puxy's perspective, he has gotten a palace and allied with the Sardaukar, uh, with, with House Corino. So now he has the ability to build Sardaukar, and these are really super-powered infantry. These are really good. Now, the thing is, since he's Ordos, all of his units are a little bit weaker and a little bit faster. So what he should be doing is taking all these units and ranging far out on the edges to make sure that he comes in at a really good place of attack. I hope that's what he's going to do. He's going for the crags over here, and I hope he really stays at the outskirts. You do not want to do a frontal assault against all the defense that you know the Rappi is building up. So here come a whole bunch of flak trikes, which is good. Uh, Puxy's definitely been needing that for a while with those ornithopters running around. These, these are great to have. Um, he probably, he, he needs to keep those on alert. He needs to keep those, you know, in a, in a group. There he goes. So he's going to, he's going to bring those along with these infantry. There is a mobile trading post who is, uh, who has very high sight range. So he's just seen all these units. Um, if, even if he, he didn't have this part of the board explored before, he now does have it explored so he can see what, what's going on there. So, um, I would suggest that Puxy do one of two things. He either needs to get some other kinds of support out here. And he needs to keep these flag trikes near the squad, but stay somewhere in the back. He doesn't, uh, you know, and, and he needs to try and make this more of a surprise attack because the, the Rafi clearly knows this is coming. Please don't attack straight on. <laughs> okay. But I think that's exactly what's going to happen. It looks to me like the Rafi is just too determined to come in straight against guard turrets. Now, obviously he's got enough units that he's he's wiping them out, right? But he's still taking a little extra damage every second that that's going on. There you go. Now the flak trikes definitely taking down a couple of ornithopters already. Uh, two are down. Another one's down. Get them moved up. All right. And the other ones might be going back for repairs. So basically the, the, the air threat is gone now. Get those Sardaukar into the crag. They're going to be so powerful in there. Oh, don't, don't move back. Don't move back. Get them into the cracks. My goodness, they do so much damage in there. Come on, Puxy, get them in there. <sighs> All right, now hold position. There you go. He's got a bunch of guys retreating. He's going to have to get those guys back into the fight as soon as he can. Before he even started this, he should have taken his retreat flag up here and placed it very close to the battle so that he could get everybody involved again as soon as they retreated. They could heal up a little, and then they could come back into the fight. Now, don't push it. Stay in there. Stay in the crags. That would be the smart thing to do. And keep your flak trikes near. Unfortunately, the flak trikes are just ranging all around trying to shoot the ornithopters. They should be staying right here to give coverage. But they are just moving around an awful lot. So here are all the Sardaukar. They're doing very well. They need to stay in the crags just a little longer to defend, uh, you know, because... The Raffi, he's 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 in kind of panic mode at the moment, seeing that um, he's not panicking a whole lot, but he he immediately tried to respond to that and tried to continue responding. So to to fend off that little that little panic response, he definitely should just I, I would recommend just staying in the crag for now and just you know since it's obvious that the Raffi is going to send some units to attack him, you know just just let him do that, let him, let him keep sending units to die for now. So let's see what what Puxy's going to continue doing. He's obviously continuing to go human wave. Um, more Sardaukar, more infantry coming out. And, you know, the Raffi, he's he's very good at making drops and doing some other funky stuff, so I wouldn't be surprised at all to see him do some some kind of a drop. Uh, the Raffi, yeah, the Raffi is losing some ornithopters because, uh, you know, basically if he, if, if he had gone into his high-tech factory and turned off airstrikes, you know, he could have just he could have just pulled them all back and made sure they didn't all just get killed. But he wasn't he wasn't paying enough attention at, at that point. But the Raffi does have some money, and he's decided to send out a uh, Merc party. Unfortunately, at the wrong exact time because Worm Sign is active, and every one of those Merc units are gonna get eaten. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> Even that rocket launcher eventually will get eaten. He's going to do a little bit of damage beforehand because I don't think Puxy is really paying attention to what's going on on the back end of his base. Um, you know, Rocket Launcher is definitely good at shooting infantry, but even so, he has enough regular infantry that he could send them forward and probably kill that Rocket Launcher. As it is, the Rocket Launcher is doing way too much damage. It's just a Merc unit, so if he gets 50% damage on it, it's going to retreat. All he needs is a couple infantry inside its minimum range, just like that. Oh, boy. <laughs> 
All I need is to get it down to 50%, but as it is, that thing might end up destroying this wind trap because they do a lot of extra damage to buildings. One more rocket will do it. Oh, and he's retreating now. So, there we go. So here is Puxy's force. They are standing victorious over the place previously where the Raffi had a, 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 his little proxy base set up. Get your fleck trikes off of the sand. They're all going to get eaten. He's trying to harass the carry-all production around these harvesters, which is good. But Wormside is active. This is not a good time to do that. You want to get onto the rocks, get off of the sand, and stop them right where they are. Give them stop orders so they don't go ranging around trying to attack any aircraft they can find. All right, now Wormside is over, so there's no more danger. Keep your flak trikes out there. Boom, there's two carry-alls at 600 credits, three 1,800 credits. Or I should say three is 2,400 credits because they're 800 credits a piece. Carry-alls are not cheap. Get those flak trikes out of there would be a good idea. Still got all these infantry sitting around, and I'm he may have more sitting in the crags. I don't remember if he left any in there or not. He may have left a couple of pieces. I can't really see them. So all the aircraft for the Raffi are basically gone. Tanks are no defense whatsoever against Sardaukar. The Sardaukar will just mop them up completely. Really, against Sardaukar, what you want is uh, mass infantry because Sardaukar are so expensive. Um, you know, if, if you buy as many infantry as the opponent has Sardaukar, your infantry are definitely going to win. They're going to get a massive surround effect on them. Got a little lag going on here because we got... Uh, Got some activity, and maybe maybe somebody else is having some network trouble. Definitely got some slowdown. So far, though, we've been getting pretty good speeds this game. So hopefully this just picks back up. Maybe one of us is doing a download or something that we don't know about. And as I've said, my network code is not absolutely the greatest, so I apologize for that. Um, now this is... Uh, What's actually going on in the game here is, you know, the Raffi's response to this is just not good. These tanks, no good whatsoever against Sardaukar. Sardaukar are just going to absolutely mop them up. So, just gonna... hopefully things speed up for us in a minute, but I'm going to keep casting and keep keeping track of what's going on here. So, those Sardaukar, they're going to destroy these buildings. They're going to destroy all those tanks. I'm telling you, those tanks look powerful, but they don't have the accuracy to to cause a lot of hits on small infantry and Sardaukar are very small and very tough so they're going to do very well that other ornithopter might get shot down by these couple of remaining flak trikes um, it would still be good if Puxy had kept those flak trikes somewhere behind here and given them really conservative orders just like stop orders to make sure that they don't go ranging too far I think he has, they, they haven't been moving much so they're going to continue to shoot at this ornithopter um, <laughs> Even as, you know, even as the Sardaukar are almost outnumbered by the number of tanks coming to fight them. But even then, they're just going to murder these tanks. These tanks are not going to get the shots off. They're not going to be able, you know, it, it takes a tank, um, you know, two, like three shots, three direct hits to kill a Sardaukar. They're just, they're that tough. They're the toughest infantry there are. They have more hit points than any other infantry. So even even though they're Ordos and they're a little bit weaker than normal, they're still very tough. So they're gonna they're gonna last here a long time. And I see a big blob of green coming up uh, just above these guys from Puxy, and it is a pile more Sardaukar. So this is gonna be fun. You're gonna see Sart now. Actually, what I would like to see Puxy do right this second is put a retreat flag right about here, right about here in the dunes. <laughs> All right, so uh, some some of us is one of us is saying that he, he thinks somebody else is using the network connection an awful lot there. So let's just let's just keep going with this really slow speed. I think one of us has has a real problem, and my network code doesn't ha you know it's not built to handle a lot of lag. So I, I apologize for that, but you know um, most of the time it works pretty well. Anyway, what I would like to see Puxy do is get a retreat flag up here, take these infantry that are in the front retreat them, get the fresh guys up front to start fighting, and then when the guys in the rear have healed a little bit, bring them back in, then all of a sudden you've got a mass of Sardaukar who are sitting there. And, I mean, with this many Sardaukar, he is going to wreck his opponent's base almost no matter what he has. The, um, you know, the Raffi's response to this is to continue making light vehicles and tanks, and that's just all wrong. Uh, what he really needs is some rocket launchers really, really badly need some rocket launchers because that mass of infantry is so vulnerable to area of attack. Just a few rocket launchers would start doing massive damage to that infantry line. So he really needs that to happen. 
I don't know whether he's going to be able to do it at this point. There's just uh, there's just too much going on. So we're going to continue to watch here at this incredibly laggy speed, but we're we're still having a good recording. So we'll we'll see how this goes. Um, there goes another structure. It's it's basically GG at this point. I don't see. I really don't see uh, the Raffi coming up with any good response to this mass Sardaukar assault. And, you know, this is and and these flak tracks are going to keep shooting down the ornithopters. It looks like maybe Raffi is continuing to produce more, or this one guy keeps going back for repairs where he's going. So that ornithopter is basically nullified by having these two flak trikes. Um, I don't know where. I don't know where uh, Puxy is going with these guys. He, he he could just move in right now. He could move move straight over here. Puxy says GG. Why does he say GG? Okay, so I think everybody just basically you know gave up because of the lag and just just said forget it. Uh, but. It is definitely a GG in Puxy's favor. He's he's definitely got this one wrapped up. Um, the Raffi, he's got a lot of he's got a lot of harvesting going on and such here, but you know he's got a good economy. It looks like. Oh, and there's some. Okay, so so the Raffi spent a bunch of money on uh, mercenaries, sent them all in the back of Puxy's base, and did a heck of a lot of damage. So yes, he would have traded bases. Um, this is basically a base trade, essentially. They, they, they both wiped each other out. This is, I'm having a hard time calling this anything other than a draw because these are just mercenary units. These guys are, are not just going to, you know, march down here and continue. And all Puxy has to do is continue building these Sardaukar. Just a few squads of Sardaukar, believe it or not, probably will turn back this entire mercenary force because it's only tanks and the troopers will all retreat at 50% damage. So, Literally, just a couple of squad of Sardaukar lumped together will do a heck of a lot to make this whole Merc group retreat. So honestly, everything here would have survived. All Pucks, all Puxy had to do was just keep building a couple of squads, you know, just a couple more squads of Sardaukar. All these Mercs would be gone. And Puxy just move right ahead and uh, and just clean up this base because there is no other response coming from the Raffi at all. So we can call it a draw. We can call it whatever. Uh, Puxy did GG, but I'm gonna officially say that I don't see I don't see the Raffi winning here. I, I just don't see it. it. It really does not take much of a defense to turn away mercenaries like this. He would have lost this, yeah, but you know he still would have been alive. So you know he lost his conyard. You big deal. He can still produce. He can still harvest a little bit. Um, and he just had you know Puxy just had the force. This force cannot be stopped where it is. So. Anyway, GG, it was it was a great game. Thanks a lot for watching and have a good